Well, Scott, council members, <clears throat> excuse me, they were just getting some of the details late this afternoon, but we're told this contract was ratified last night by the 700 member Buffalo Police Benevolent Association. Uh, it's a retroactive agreement, runs through 2025 for police officers and staff with pay increases of 3% back to 2021, then 4% for subsequent years, along with certain benefit upgrades, including longevity clauses. There is also now a seven year residency requirement for officers. A projected cost for this of $2.7 million up front, excuse me, but there could be additional cost factors, even as the city would, won't be able to use COVID relief or rescue, rescue funding in the future. What we're looking at is all of the retroactive pay that will, the city will ultimately have to pay out. And it's no secret that the city uh, come 2025 when ARP dollars shore up, um, we're going to be asking the hard questions of where is this money going to be coming to to settle this contract uh, and to make sure does this contract make us more solvent and also more fiscally responsible moving forward, uh, not only to, for our responsibility to provide um, you know a fair contract uh, to Buffalo police officers, but to make sure that taxpayers and City Hall can pay for it. While it is separate from the contract, other public safety cost factors before council in the form of bond resolutions, $2 million for the purchase of new police vehicles, and then an additional $2.5 million for police or fire trucks. The fire union has been pressing for them to replace aging or broken down apparatus along with fire station upgrades. Various other bond resolutions before council. We'll get into that more so at 530. Uh, Councilman Nowakowski says City Council's Finance Committee is going to be discussing, asking questions, about these issues, including that police contract during its session next Tuesday and no comment so far from the Brown administration that the union feels this is a good deal with the mediator that worked it out on your side. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.